In this video, we learned how to simplify expressions involving square roots and thirds. And for that, we're going to work through the example we see here, in which we're asked to write the following expression in its simplest third form. And that expression is 2 times the square root of 75 plus 6 times the square root of 27 minus the square root of 8. In a previous video, we've already seen how to write a square root in its simplest form. But in this case, we have several square roots, or thirds, which are being multiplied by some number and added or subtracted from each other. So let's see how to do this. The first thing we need to do is to simplify each of these square roots as much as possible. So let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and state that this equals to 2 times the square root of 75. Now to simplify the square root of 75, we look for the largest square factor of 75 we can find. And if you're a bit unsure of how to find that, I've written the first few square numbers in the upper right hand corner of the page. Here's what I mean. The numbers written in gray here are the first few whole numbers. Directly underneath each of those numbers, we have its square. So the one here is one times one, that's one squared. The four here is two squared, meaning two times two. The nine we have here is three squared, which is three times three, and so on and so forth. Having a list of square numbers like this is quite useful. Remember, to get from the top row to the bottom row, we're squaring the number, and to get from the bottom row to the top row, we're taking its square root. So for instance, if I had to find the square root of 36, all I would have to do is read the number directly above it. That's 6. That being said, let's get back to our example. We needed to write the square root of 75 in its simplest form. For that, we look for the largest square factor of 75 we can find in this list of purple numbers. Those are the square numbers. And it doesn't take us too long to see that 25 is the largest square factor of 75. And since 75 equals to 25 times 3, we can go ahead and write that this equals to 2 times the square root of 25 times 3. I move on to the next term in this expression. We have 6 root 27, or 6 times the square root of 27. And so I'll already write the 6 here, and we now look for the largest square factor of 27. Looking through our list of square numbers here, we quickly see that the largest factor of 27 we have is 9. And since 27 equals to 9 times 3, we can go ahead and write that the second term is 6 times the square root of 9 times 3. I move on to the third and last term in this expression, which is being subtracted. So I'll write a minus right here. Just as for the other two, we need to simplify this square root as much as possible. And for that, we look for the largest square factor of 8 that we can find inside this list of square numbers. In doing so, we quickly see that 4 is the largest square factor of 8. And so we can rewrite that term as the square root of 4 times 2. Now that we've found the largest square factors, of 75, 27, and 8, we split each of these square roots in two using the following very important result. The square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. This result is very important and you need to have it in the back of your minds when simplifying expressions like these. Indeed, using it, we can write each of these square roots as a product of two square roots. And for each of them, we'll end up with the square root of a square number times a third written in its simplest form. With that in mind, we can go ahead and write that this equals to 2 times the square root of 25 times the square root of 3 plus 6 times the square root of 9 times the square root of 3. And we take away from that the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. And now that we've split all of the square roots in two, we can go ahead and calculate each of the square roots which has a square factor inside it. And if you're not sure of how to do that, you can always use the list of numbers we have in the upper right hand corner here. For instance, the square root of 25, well, that's equal to five. And I can get that from my list just by looking at the number directly above it. Carrying on this way, we find that the square root of nine is equal to three, and that the square root of four is equal to two. Using those results, we can state that that equals to 2 times 5 times the square root of 3 plus 6 times 3 times the square root of 3. And we take away from that 2 times the square root of 2. 
we now take care of this 2 times 5 and of this 6 times 3, leading us to 10 times the square root of 3, which we just write as 10 root 3, plus 18 times the square root of 3, which we write 18 root 3. And finally, we take away from that 2 times the square root of 2, which we write 2 root 2. And all that's left to do now is gather any like terms. Looking at the first two terms, we can see that we have 10 times the square root of 3 and 18 times the square root of 3. And since we're dealing with the same third in each case, we can add these two together. And we can state that that's equal to 28 times the square root of 3, so that's 28 root 3. And of course, we still have minus 2 root 2. And we stop there. We cannot do any further operations with these two terms. Indeed, because the thirds are different, we have square root of 3 and the square root of 2, this cannot be simplified any further. And so that's the final answer. And there we go. That's how we can simplify expressions involving square roots and thirds. And that's it for this tutorial.